Hello everyone. Good evening. Today's topic is which chapters should I study from B K Nagla. B K Nagla, you must be knowing this is a very popular book for paper two of sociology, but there is a lot of confusion regarding the chapters that one should study from this book. First of all, let us see what this book. looks like this is indian sociological thought by bk nagla and this is the second edition that i have on this screen there are a few thinkers which have been added in the new edition which are not there in the first edition therefore we would advise you that please get the newer edition so that you do not miss out on the important thinkers for example we have thinker like andre bete his perspective is not mentioned in the first edition and he is a very important thinker so you should get this perspective from the second edition of his book by b k nagla now let us look at the index what all chapters do we have here now when you look at the first page of the contents you will find that there are two perspectives given here the first one is the historical perspective and the second one is the indological or the textual perspective now if you go through the syllabus you will find that the first perspective that is given is indology so we do not have to cover the historical perspective we will start off with indology and in indology we have two thinkers that we should be doing the first one is G S Gude and the second one is Louis Dumont. Although Louis Dumont has not been mentioned explicitly under the perspectives, but if you will go through the caste system perspectives, the theories which we have to study under caste system, you will find that Louis Dumont his name has been mentioned. Now Iravati Karve her name is not mentioned, but you can glance through the chapter so if you look at the first page which thinkers are useful the thinkers which are useful are g s kude you have to do this chapter thoroughly louis dumont you will be doing thoroughly and iravati karve you need to glance through her theories now before reading about these three thinkers you need to understand what indology or indological perspective means because without understanding indology you will not be able to understand the theories of gude louis dumont and iravati karve now the second page of the contents here we have the structural functional perspective and mn shrinivas explicitly his name has been mentioned in the syllabus very important thinker m n shrinivas you will be doing s c dube in the village study this is important mckim marriott also slightly few points you should know about this thinker then in the marxist perspective a r desai is important stratification perspective andre bete very important caste system caste class and power cultural perspective yogendra singh is again very important modernization of indian tradition civilizational perspective surajit sinha is important nk bose few points you can know but surajit sinha is important in subaltern perspective b r ambedkar and second one is ranjit guha so the thinkers which we should know are from the structural functional perspective m n shrinivas s c dube in the marxist perspective a r desai in the stratification perspective andre bete cultural perspective yogendra singh civilizational perspective surajit sinha and subaltern perspective we have b r ambedkar and 
रणजीत गुहा सो दीज आर द थिंकर्स दैट वी शुड नो वंस अगेन आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू द नेम्स फर्स्ट वन इज जी एस घुड़े एम एन श्रीनिवास ए आर देसाई योगेंद्र सिंह आंध्र बेते लुई डिमोन सुरजीत सिन्हा रणजीत गुहा फ्यू पॉइंट्स ऑफ इरावती कड़वे देन एस सी दुबे विलेज स्टडीज मक्के मैरियट लिटल एंड ग्रेट ट्रेडिशन एंड देर वॉज अ स्टडी बाय आई थिंक किशनगढ़ देन वी हैव अम्बेडकर एनाइलेशन ऑफ कास्ट देन वी हैव एन के बोस फ्यू पॉइंट्स दैट वी शुड नो सो दीज आर द फ्यू थिंकर्स दैट वी शुड नो फ्रॉम दिस बुक बी के नगला विच इज इंडियन सोशियोलॉजिकल थॉट ऑल द बेस्ट